Hello developers. In this video, we are going to learn about UI table view defiable data source. This project is basically an old way to provide a data source to your table view. So what we do in the older way, like we have this UI table view data source protocol and there are set of functions you have to provide the definition of. So basically you have to provide a number of rows and sections. So we have some data that is this model, right? We are providing the count of that model and we have to provide which cell will be shown to this table view. And this is our model. Okay. And this is our table cell. So in this video, we are going to learn about UI table view defiable data source. So we will create an instance of that class and we'll provide that defiable data source to this data source. Let's get into this. Okay. So let's create an instance of defiable data source. I'm just creating a data source for it and it is UI table view defiable data source okay let's go to the definition of this defiable data source so if you see it's available from iOS 13 and there are two types you have to provide this is section identifier type and item identifier type so it's basically this first one is your section of your table view and this is your row and one thing you have to notice here like this section and this item should be hashable it means that your model should be inherit from hashable protocol the dictionary that is basically hashable it should not contain any duplicate keys right so now we have to inherit these section and rows with the hashable protocol now for this I have to provide a unique ID, right? So I am providing the unique ID for this. Okay. Now our model is basically inherited from the Hassible protocols. Now I can pass this model to this defiable data source. This table view defiable data source, we have to provide the type of the sections and the rows, right? So I am providing the section and the row for this table view. data source now your table view defiable data source right so it needs the table view okay and the cell provider cell provider is basically nothing it's cell for row add function now it will be a closer for that this table view is basically our table view and this cell provider is now a completion you have this table view and this you have an index path and this item identifier is basically a row or we can say this is a row and we can find this row as a this model okay so let's write all these things the older way let's sell equals table view dot dq reusable cell and this item identifier is like cell identifier okay now we have to downcast it to our table cell and we will provide this title to our this row dot and our title fine this is our row and which we have this title now i am returning the cell okay now i will return the data source now we have provided the data source or we can directly write here that table view dot data source equals our data source okay now we will remove this data source from here also we will remove this okay if i run this program what will happen so there is a white screen only right the reason is that we only have provided the data source instance right but didn't provide any any data for that so there is uh, one object that is called as snapshots now we will create a snapshot for it right here function snapshot okay now we have the snapshot here we will write snapshot this is our ns defiable data source snapshot right now it is also like it takes something right if if i go to the definition of this uh, data source snapshot it will be same like it it will have the sections and the item right and it should be hashable right now we have to provide the same things for that also this is section and this is row right now this snapshot is nothing is basically take something right something it's an array itself snapshot that append items right here you can append your sections as well as your rows. So first of all, I am creating the section for it. Let's section equals our section, right? This is our section. And I can provide the title directly here. This is our title and it is a section title. 
so uh, i will append this section to the snapshot okay snapshot dot append basically is this section right so i will append this section here okay now in this section i have to show some rows right so i will create a rows for this so what will i do i will do like let rows equals to get data now snapshot dot append this is our identifiers like so it's these these are the rows so i will directly pass here rows to section which section i have, I have to attach these rows to right this is our section fine now what i will do now i will just directly call this snapshots so as you see like we have created this snapshot now i have to apply this snapshot to our this data source so what will i do is basically data source dot apply this is our snapshot right so i will provide this snapshot to it fine now in the view did load function what will i do i will just call this snapshot functions just now run this program again see now we have this is row one this is row two and row three row four so we have replaced our old way that is protocol by giving the the functions of a protocol or something by this defiable data source so here no need to provide anything there is a uh, you have to create an instance of a data source okay now you will provide the cell inside it only because the function is basically a part of this defiable data source right for adding the data you have to provide the snapshot to it so we have this snapshot and this snapshot is also takes some values that is section and rows here i created a section for it now i have append this append that section to our uh, this snapshot and we have created the rows and append this, uh, the rows to this section basically at last we have to apply the snapshot to this data source and the result is here that we have this table view right so in our next lecture we will talk about how we can delete or move or something so for delete right what we do basically we have to remove the values from the models and i have to reload the data but now it is very very easy in the case of defiable data sources so we will look into this in our next lecture thanks for watching this video